Now as a parent you want your child to excel and you want your child to really get those good marks yeah. right but at the same time you also don't want to pressurize your child if you want to motivate your child to study more you can ask them hey what do you think you're going to you know do in the future how can you work towards that so then your child is intentionally wanting to study right. because it's for their own good right. not because you're forcing them to do so mm-hmm. right different children have different learning cap- capabilities and right. different needs right? right we're not all the same so if your child Well, let's say like you said does one revision and they are able to retain that trust them on it you know mm. work with them do like mock tests to, mm. how can you support them to manage to just pass through it you know you don't have to so get what is the 100. confidence that they are actually going with the when they going to the parents and when they say that i'm okay with one revision and it doesn't match the Uh, yeah then the parent needs to not shame their child not hold that pressure against them and help them understand okay look you know you did your one revision and this is the result like right. what should what do you think we can do to do better next time right. because it's benefiting you not because right. i'm telling you to get a better grade to look good for other people around you right. you see right. it's really how you word word yeah. it when you talk to your child yeah. A lot of parents are so scared of I understand it. You're so scared of your child failing yeah. a subject cuz it's a lot of money that goes into school and all yeah. of that. Try and find healthier methods to understand your child's learning capabilities 